Ladies and gentlemen, a new year means a new logo tutorial. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to create four new logos in Canva, but we're gonna do it a little bit different than we have in previous videos. I'm gonna show you how to actually use some of Canva's apps to create some absolutely standout bonkers logos for your stream. Let's get into it. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I'm your content cleric. Around here we make videos just like this to teach you how to make a bomb stream on an absolute budget. With that said, today we're gonna be using Canva. If you're not already a Canva aficionado, what are you waiting for? Hop on over to canva.com. If you want to try out Pro for 30 days for free, use the link I have down in the description. That'll get you a free 30-day trial to Canva Pro. However, I think most of this video can be done without using Canva Pro, but let's be honest, it's all gonna come out way better and you're gonna get more viewers if you use Canva Pro. I can't promise that, I can't, really can't, but I believe it to be true, all right? But that said, guys, let's jump on into the video. The very first thing that we're going to do is we are going to go to canva.com, create an account if we don't already have one, hit create a design. I'm just gonna go with a logo, but I don't want the 500 by 500 because most of my logos are not gonna be square, they're probably gonna be long. Uh, and so we're gonna go with custom size, and I wanna do it at about 1,000 wide and maybe 750 height. That seems about right. So per the usual, we're gonna be creating logos for username 264. Uh, that is literally something I came up with in like my very first logo video and it's just stuck. And so uh, we're working on that. And again, we're gonna be using apps. If you've never jumped over here and, and played around in the app section of Canva, oh, you are missing out. Honestly, there's so, so, so many good apps in here that just do an amazing thing. Um, I've thought about actually creating a series where in every video I just show like five apps that I love and kind of show uh, what they do. If you'd like to see something like that, if that sounds like videos you'd watch, make sure you let me know in the comments so I know whether or not I should do that. So as you can see, there's an absolute ton of apps. What we're going to start with today is actually not an app. We're going to create a, um, a character type logo for uh, username 264. And so I feel like username 264 is a really big fan of rabbits. I feel like he's a really big fan of rabbits. And so I could type in rabbit and go to graphics and scroll forever and see like Easter bunnies, but I don't think this is what he's into. I think he's more into like a, a hardcore kind of edgy type of rabbit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like this dude, that's a cool dude right there, right? So that I think would fit username 264 really well. I'm just gonna actually grab a few of these so that I can help make up my mind. I like this one as well. That one's cool, right? Um, we could actually see magic recommendations on this one to kind of show us some more. So we have like this dude, don't like him as much though. Uh, this one, it's, uh, no, not a fan, right? But anyway, we're gonna go through, I'm not gonna spend the whole video picking out uh, a mark. You'll find something that you like that kind of fits, like this one's pretty cool too, right? Um, could actually see doing some pretty neat stuff with that. Uh, with that said, I think we'll stick, ooh, that is tough. I, I really like this one though, I think. This one's cool too though. You know, all right, we'll stick with this one. We'll go a little bit simpler. Simpler is always better when we're talking about logos. Um, so one thing that I want to do here is I want to kind of shape my text around the logo that's already here. And this is something that, you know, until these apps came out was not really possible in Canva. Also, I just noticed there's a pixel bunny and you can change the colors. I love it. Okay, anyway, not what we're doing. So we're gonna go over here to apps. And oh, it's right here, actually. This is the one we're gonna be using. Uh, but if you need to search for it, it's called Text Flow. I was wrong. I do that sometimes. Type Craft, I wasn't even close. It is called Type Craft. And so what we're gonna do, once we have selected the app, you may have to say, use this app or install this app, something like that. Uh, it's free to use, don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna type in username 264 in all caps. And I wanna find a font that actually goes with that. And I actually think this is, that font is really good. We'll look for another minute or two. Looking through something should be bold, something that should be kind of, I don't know, gamer-esque. Uh, I think we're gonna have a hard time beating that one. What about this glitch? That one's pretty cool. Actually, we'll go with the glitch. So now what we're doing is we're looking at the shape and we're trying to figure out where we want this text to go. For this, I think I want my text to go under him and I could easily curve it using Canva's other tools, but I don't necessarily want it curved. I want it to have a different shape entirely. So I can use these little handles right here to shape the text just like this. What if we what if we kind of made it something like 
that, right? I think that kind of has a cool, I can even bring it in like this one, but I don't. I think I want it like this and I want that bunny to fit right under it. Um, I can also choose my color. So if I want it to match, I'll just go with that completely black. I can also go with unfilled outline, right? Anything like that I, I can do. Um, actually kind of like the way that looks, but I, we won't do that for this one. We'll go with none. Once we have it how we like it, you can hit add element to design. Okay, so, so far, I think this actually has a really cool look to it. Um, I'm just gonna adjust my sizing a little bit, right? Something like this. Uh, yeah, and, and I like, I could even take this. I, we'll try something. This is not something I'd planned on, but let's see if we could add like a glitch effect to the bunny. It is a photo, so let's see what all we can do to it. Should be under effects. Maybe under filters. Let's see, let's just search under glitch or, or under apps, see if there's any kind of glitch. Ah, there's not, all right. Something I could do uh, is I could use something like Pixelify, which is a really cool app. I'll kind of showcase it later. But let's say we wanna use this one and we want to pixelate it. Um, you can see we can actually go really big kind of pixels. We can bring it up a lot so that it actually doesn't look too bad. Let's try. Something like that. All right, and so now we kind of have this like pixelated bunny, but the cool thing we could do is we could always export this whole image, this whole logo, bring it back in as an image and then pixelate it so that the text and the bunny are both pixelated. I think that could have a really cool feel to it. Uh, but yeah, this is our first take at a logo for username 264. Let's jump into another one. The video hasn't been released just yet, but I have a whole video coming out on a bunch of the AI tools in Canva. This is actually an AI tool that is not in that video because it wasn't out whenever I recorded it. With that said, we're gonna go ahead and use our logo maker. I'm just gonna type in logo and I'm gonna go to logo maker. Now, I don't think that this particularly does like text well. Um, however, we can do symbols. And so I'm gonna say, create a simple minimalistic U logo. And as you can see, it created something very minimalistic, a little more minimalistic than I wanted. So I'm gonna try again. Okay, so I've tried a few different times and this is what I've gotten. Not a huge fan of either of these. Um, I, I am kind of a fan of like this shape. And, and so something that I could do is I could always go to edit photo cause it is in there as a photo now. Um, and I could go to just background remover, remove all the backgrounds um, and then, you know, pretty much get rid of anything that I don't want. Right, so we can just uh, bring it in like this. And there we go, we have the logo that we want. Now, I wanna show you something else. We're gonna actually step outside of Canva. I'm sure within Canva, there are some of these image generator apps that would work amazing for this. But I'm gonna show you real quick what I've been using um, for all of my image generation here lately. Um, I was a huge Mid Journey fan and I'll show you what actually replaced Midjourney for me. Bing Image Creator. Bing.image will get you there. Here's some of the creations that I've made um, as of late, right? This was actually a sermon series for my church that I was working on, just generating up using some elements from this. Now, obviously, doesn't do text well, but let's try something real quick. Create a simple but edgy letter U logo for a gamer. We're gonna hit create. Now, uh, this is actually completely free to use. These credits are just my fast credits. It will generate, I have basically 15 times a day that it will generate an image quickly. The rest of the time, it just generates it a little slower, uh, which is fine. I'm usually working on 13 different things anyway, and so I can always jump back and forth, right? Okay, so these are all really good. I'm actually going to use this one. It's complex, but let's see if we can make it work. We're just gonna copy the image, and I'm gonna bring it over here. We're gonna delete this one, control V. Now we're gonna to go to edit photo and we're going to try our background remover. This, this is a complex image. We'll see how good uh, the background remover works here. Okay, it's hard for me to tell because the background is white. So let's make the background black. That is solid. I don't know if you guys know how solid that is. That is solid. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna size this down a little bit. I'm trying to think what I wanna do with my text because I'm just kind of shooting off the cuff right now. All right, so let's go to text. I'm just gonna type out my username. Just like that, size it up a little bit. I'm gonna bring it just beneath this, kind of center it so it's centered. Now let's look through some fonts here, see what we can find, what kind of matches the feel of this. I love this kind of collegiate 
uh, serif look. And so we'll see if we can't find serif. Let's see if we can actually search by serifs. By the way, guys, um, if you're not a graphic designer, serifs are the little kind of out sections, you know, the little, like the little slabs and stuff um, that come out off of a letter that's called a serif. And so a sans serif is, you know, a font that doesn't have that. Like the, the font that I had previously is called a sans serif font. And so let's see if I can find a sharper kind of serif font, but one that doesn't feel I don't know. I really, it might be nicer to have a sans serif font to kind of counteract that the one that's right there. So I think that's what we're going to do. Actually, we'll go with something a little bit cleaner. Um, I don't necessarily need to match it perfectly. Can I tell you like clean? Will it show me like clean minimal fonts? There we go. Okay. Um, code has an interesting field. Is there a bold? There is a bold. Let's try this. So we're going to go with our username 264. Um, it's way too tight. So what I'm going to actually do is give it some room to breathe. Bring my letters out real nice and wider like that. Okay. Bring them, you know, try to still center it under here. And then I'm going to hold down alt and shrink it from the middle. Yeah. I mean, I think honestly, there's not much else that I would do to this. Like I could come in here with username 264, right? I can come in here to my effects. Um, and there's a lot of effects I can do. I can add a curve to it. Like I talked about earlier I can kind of reverse the curve but it, it kind of circles around it like that. We can absolutely do that, but I feel like it just looks more clean. Just a nice, clean sans serif typeface under this nice, somewhat, you know, bold and um, busy logo. Something like that, I think it looks really good. Let's position it, put it in the middle. There we go. There's our logo. That is solid. Okay, and so again, that is using Bing Image Creator, removing the background, and now I have a logo. And really any of these would have worked. All right, let's jump to the next one. So this next one is actually going to be an answered prayer <laughs> for a lot of people out this out there. Watson, I'm looking at you, all right? Let's just go with a U gradient logo, right? A U gradient logo. Let's see what we can find. What looks good? We're just going with a, what I would call like a uh, monogram logo here. Um, there's some cool ones. This is solid actually. Um, so one little hint I'm going to show you, let's say your colors aren't pink to blue, right? You can actually go to edit photo here. You can go to duotone just like this, uh, and you can actually change the colors, right? And I can actually go adjust them so that I want my shadows, my darkest points, right? To be more red, right? And I want my lightest points to be more yellow, right? And so I can kind of go in there and adjust it. It's not going to be perfect by any means, but you can actually kind of make it fit the colors that you want. I'm actually okay with this, but it is giving me some more recommendations, but we're not going to dive into those. Now we're going to go over here to our apps and we're going to type in gradient. And we're going to see right here, there is a type gradient. Yes, my friends, no, no more crazy workarounds. You can officially do gradient text in Canva. Let's go. We're going to type out username 264, but I want to do it all caps. I don't know why logos look better in all caps. That's not true. Logos, they kind of go back and forth. Now I can see this is a rounded type font. So I want to go with a rounded, uh, I'm sorry, a rounded logo. So I want to go with a rounded font. Um, there's no way to search for that. So I'm just going to scroll and kind of look. Uh, when I see one that looks sort of like the shape that I'm wanting, not this. I still want it to feel like a clean sans serif typeface, but I want it to have rounded edges, you know? Does this have a bold? It does have a bold. This might be. Yeah, that's pretty solid, actually. Um, my one complaint here, is there's no um, there's no way to get the exact colors. You know what I mean? Um, and so what I can do here, just a little workaround, is we're gonna just use a, a square, something like this. And I'm gonna copy my three colors by clicking here, clicking here, using my eyedropper. So whenever I click over, unfortunately, it's erasing what I've already done in the type gradient. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do another little workaround. We're going to copy this code and then I'm going to press T on my text, bring out some text and I'm going to put it right here. Just like that, right? Perfect. Copy it onto all of these. This really isn't a whole lot more work, but you know, not really what I wanted to do, but here we are. Right. And we'll grab this code as well. There we go. So now I have my hex code. So now let's go start back over here. Username 264, just like this. Choose whatever font you want. But now I'm just going to type in my code. This one is E00EFF. This one is 
9A55FF. And if you can remember these, more power to you. I've never been able to re remember hex codes. I don't know why. 83FF. So there we go. Just like that, we have it exactly how we want. Now we can kind of turn it, see how we have control over this. I can, I can kind of do it this way. Um, I think I do want to just match it. So you have kind of all three colors in it, just like this. I can kind of tilt it. Whatever I want to do with it. You have all sorts of control, which is awesome. Once I have it, I'm just going to hit add to design. And just like that, I have a text gradient that perfectly matches my logo. There's been so many people uh, dying for this. One of my best shorts actually is showing kind of a workaround on how to do this. And so just so excited that this is actually here. Um, as I'm looking at it, I kind of think it's too much of the same gradient, but I, I think it illustrated the point well. All right, let's jump into another design. All right, so this next design is actually going to use a couple different tools that I found. Uh, the first tool is actually going to be, where is it? I don't know where it is. Let's go back here. Let's go, I think it's emoji something. Uh, emoji artist. Okay, so this creates an emoji. And so uses the styling of like emojis on your phone. Uh, and so let's go with a lion in a cowboy hat. Okay, there we go. And he comes out pretty royal, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty cool looking. I'm going to actually try again a smiling um, cartoon lion in a cowboy hat. Okay, going to kind of adjust it just a little bit because he looks a little too serious for username 264. I feel like username 264 is a little bit more chill. You know what I mean? Uh, so let's see what else we can come up with. By the way, I think that this would also be a great tool to generate up some emotes, maybe. Uh, I will have a video coming up on that very soon as well, using some other apps in here, uh, as well as probably Emoji Artist to generate some uh, some emotes. Also, there's a cool app I found the other day that I thought would play very well into making some really cool overlays. So anyway, be on the lookout for those videos. I try to make one new one every year, uh, new logo, new overlays, new emotes every year. Uh, but if you guys have requests for any other video, something else you wanna learn how to do, uh, please leave it in the comments down below. Some of my best videos have come from suggestions from you guys. So uh, absolutely, please let me know what you guys need. And uh, even if I don't know how to do it, I'll figure it out. All right, I think that one's better. I'll, I'm digging this one. Uh, definitely would work well for an emote. So what we're gonna do here, um, we're gonna go to edit photo because now it is a photo. That's what's really cool, guys. So you can actually use these other tools that are here to to, to change stuff, right? You can, first thing I'm gonna do, let's say I'm gonna use my background remover. I wanna remove that background. Now, I'm also going to remove that so that I'm just on a white background again. But I could go in here to edit photo, and I don't know that this is going to work very well, but let's say I wanted to use my magic edit, and I decided I did not want him to have a cowboy hat. I actually um, wanted him to have a, uh, I don't know, maybe a fedora or something, right? Maybe I wanted him to have a ferret on his head. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just see what happens. You know what I mean? A white... No, let's say a ferret uh, sleeping on his head. I have no idea if this is going to work, but it would be really cool if it did, right? But what I'm showing is that you can use these other AI tools, which I will have a, a bit more of coming up in the future, right? Like, okay, kind of added ears because it had to fill in that area somehow. But you can see he has a ferret on his head, right? So we'll cancel. We're not going to do that. Um, all right, so here we have this for, you know, kind of the base of our logo. What I wanted to show here is actually kind of the Pixelify. I know I already showed the Pixelify app. Um, and so maybe I'll show a different one. Let's try to animeify it. What happens if we take an emoji and we animeify it? I don't know. Let's find out. Some of the coolest stuff I've ever made has been just by doing, I don't know, let's figure out, let's find out what happens, right? So let's animeify our, oh my gosh. That is so sick. Just, just combining AI tools. Wow. I'm blown away, guys. Sometimes, sometimes I amaze myself. All right, username 264 needs a font. He needs, he needs words somehow. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Um, really, really clean character style logo. Um, Let's actually go back with one that we used earlier. I was going to show you guys how to use this letter art was the plan here, but I don't think it's going to match, but I'll show you real quick. 
username 264, right? Um, you can click add to design and then it kind of has like this letter art effect, you know? Right, I was gonna kind of show how to use that because I thought it was kind of a cool look. Interesting, not something you see a lot of places. Uh, so if you like that, you can absolutely do that. But for I feel like for this logo, we need something a little bit different, right? A little bit different um, for this. Man, I'm trying to think. I want to go. I want to go with maybe a script font. Um, so let's use our. We're gonna try something with our typecraft. We can go. I'm not gonna go all caps this time. Because again, I want to use maybe a script font here. That one's kind of cool. Don't think it fits what we're going for here, but was well, cool. You know what? I kind of like it. Let's see if I can change the color. Um, I'm not normally a fan of brown, but I feel like brown would kind of work in this. You know what I mean? So let's let's adjust our shaping a little bit so that it kind of fits naturally to the curvature of you know his mane down here. And so now I'm just kind of tweaking. Um, I don't want it to feel too crazy, right? I think something like that looks pretty good. And so there we go. Uh, maybe size this up just a little bit. And, and then we kind of have a, a pretty interesting looking logo. Now I think from here, I can maybe, let's see if I can grab this color real quick. So I was gonna say, I know there's something that'll put a square out there, but I don't remember what it is. All right. Let's click here. Let's grab like this dark brown color that's here. Perfect. Okay, so now I can delete this line. You could actually maybe use that, but we won't. Um, paste in that color. Yeah, we'll update the element and there we go. So now we have that matching um, brown shade. I think this actually, I don't know guys. I, I think it came out solid. I think all of these actually came out really good. So let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite logo today? Was it number one, the the, the glitchy rabbit? Was it number two, uh, the 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 gamer university logo? I don't know. Uh, was it number three, the gradient heavy logo, or was it number four, the anime lion? Let me know which one you guys like. Anyway, I'd love to see what you guys make using these videos. So make sure you join my Discord. I'll have it linked down below. Join the Discord, go to the Share Your Art channel and post whatever it is you make. I would love to check it out. And guys, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of these videos. And make sure you follow me over on Twitch. A lot of times we make stuff like this on Twitch and we hang out, play games and have a good old time. I'd love to see you guys over there. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.